Hi, uh, this is Tania Hernandez. I am a research data analyst at Invest in Open Infrastructure, or IOI. In this video, I'm going to present an ongoing project at, I at IOI that focuses on exploring funder funding for open infrastructure services. Let me start by briefly introducing uh, the work of IOI. IOI is an initiative dedicated to increase uh, the investment in and adoption of open infrastructure to further equitable access and participation in research. We advocate for open infrastructure to be the default in research and scholarship. We have a broad definition of open, including using open source technology, being community governed and accountable, and supporting open science. At IOI, we follow a research-driven approach to provide tools for decision makers to enact change. We also pilot solutions to increase the sustainability of open infrastructure, uh, of the open infrastructure sector. One of our research projects is on understanding uh, funding for open infrastructure services. We are particularly interested in finding data sources, documenting the quality of the data, and analyzing information to provide insights to decisions, decision makers in the open infrastructure space. Having clarity on existing funding trends for open infrastructure services will allow us and others to better understand uh, the areas in need of investment, as well as the opportunities to make such investments more reliable and sustainable. To collect and analyze data, we have been following an iterative research process. We started by identifying uh, key stakeholders in the open infrastructure space. Specifically, we identified organizations that provide funding, such as grants, and organizations and initiatives that provide uh, services, those that receive the funding in, or in order to do so. From that list of stakeholders, we explored uh, the funding information available on grant, uh, grant databases, annual reports, websites on funding, and other, any other financial disclosures. We compiled the information and compared um, data reported by funders and providers. The first assumption was that the data will match. In other words, that the data reported by funders and the data reported by providers will be consistent, but that was not the case. So we decided to focus only on the information reported by funders because funder information is often uh, updated and published uh, publicly online. We collected data from 2010 to 2020 on major open infrastructure services. With the, funding, with the funder data, we conducted an exploratory data analysis using exclusively the, the cash grants reported by funders. And I will briefly talk now about some of the findings. So we identified major funders in the open infrastructure space. There are at least five, five clear funders uh, that each have provided, have provided over, uh, over $5 million to open infrastructure services. We also found that funding amounts uh, seem to be unpredictable over the 10-year analysis. This may be due to the complexities of reporting multi-year uh, grants, but also to changes in the leading funders and the funding allocation per year. We also found different profiles of funders. Some of them contribute to open infrastructure services with few grants, but high investments, and others prefer to support various services allocating less funding to those. We also observe that some open infrastructure services have received several cash grants from the same funders. 
which tell us that there are some strong relationships between some funders and recipient providers. Well, uh, now the meat of the presentation. Funding data has several complexities, as you can imagine. Um, but by analyzing uh, funder cash grants uh, data, we identify several limitations and also opportunities to improve the data and the analysis. First, uh, data is incomplete. The timeframes of the grants and the revised total amounts may be inaccurate given the lack of standards among, among funders to report grants. Second, by focusing, by focusing only on cash grants, we did not account for other support types, such as in-kind donations and non-monetary support. Third, we can only analyze the funding that has been disclosed and that can be verified. We think this information is an incomplete picture of the reality. Fourth, we included information of funders in different countries. For that reason, the total funding amounts may be slightly inaccurate given the currency conversions uh, to US dollars. Lastly, we also recognize that there are other important elements to consider when we talk about funding for open infrastructure services, such as the, the nature of the calls, open versus invited calls, the way in which funders assess services um, and how they prioritize areas of investment and how providers use the funding uh, that they receive. Well, if you are interested to know more about this research, please check both uh, the funding trends report that presents some of the preliminary observations and findings and the data set called uh, report, reported funding data for open infrastructure. I will share uh, those links on the CSB channels. We will also appreciate your help providing feedback to our ongoing exploration. I will also share uh, the survey to provide that feedback. And we welcome feedback on both areas, the research design and, all, and also the potential uh, sources of data. Thank you so much again for the opportunity to present IOI ongoing, uh, IOI's ongoing research. At IOI, we also welcome collaboration opportunities on funding data. So you have here my email and the email of the research team. I'm eager uh, to, con we, we are eager to continue the conversation over email. Uh, bye, thank you so much.